Hello YouTube, Phantom here from Project Thunder Gaming, and uh, this is going to be the first episode of my Minecraft Let's Play. Um, I'm just going to get right into it. Uh, I recorded this about 30 times. Uh, this is the fourth now, because I've been having problems uh, with my frame rate. Uh, my frame rate is fi fine without fraps, so you turn fraps on, and even though I am recording to a separate hard drive, it is uh, not exactly acceptable. Um, so the video might be choppy. Uh, I apologize for that. I will try to to work on that uh, for future videos. But um, I hope it does not uh, take anything away from your experience. Um, so basically, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of doing this as like a mental thing for myself. Uh, I, I do really enjoy making YouTube videos. Uh, I, you know, I might not have the most subscribers or viewers or whatever, but... I have uh, enough, and I, I love you guys. No homo. Uh, well, they're very homo, but yeah, whatever. Um, <laughs> whatever floats your boat. Uh, but I don't know. I just I think I think I think me making regular content might be a uh, good idea. Um, now I I don't know how often I'm gonna make these videos. Maybe once a week. Uh, maybe every every day, every other day. I mean I'm I, I don't I don't plan on having a specific schedule, but um. You know, when, when I when I have the time and uh, when I am able is the general idea. So, um, without further ado, let us play Minecraft. Uh, start off, as with all Minecraft videos, by chopping down a tree. <coughs> Sorry, I have, a, I have a bit of a cough. Uh, I just got over the flu and it set off my asthma. And so I just... I'm, I'm over the flu, but... Is, is resilient. Uh, let me lower the volume a little bit. Uh, go down to like 60-ish. Just so you can hear me, my uh, beautiful, sexy voice, which I don't, I don't know if I have. Um, some people like my voice. I don't know. I don't. I could ha I do with a better voice, a more deeper uh, narrator sort of voice would be pretty cool. But um, anything can happen in the future. It's not, probably not going to change much from this, but, um, I don't know, who knows. And there goes Steam. I'm not going to check that right now. Uh, I will check that after this video. Um, now, I don't know how long this video is going to be. I would like to, I don't know why I'm cutting this up, because uh, I just kind of wanted this. Where was that? I guess there. I don't know if that's going to grow. Um, but, maybe, I, I expect it to be about, uh, 10 minutes long or so. I just kind of want to get my uh, bearings together, and uh, I wanted to introduce you to the series. Uh, my future videos might be a little longer, but my, my mom's making dinner right now, and I plan to go eat uh, shortly, which would be nice. Um, but I, I, I guess my future videos, I, I, I'm not really uh, constrained by time. Um, I don't know. I think everyone's YouTube account is like that now, but I, I can upload, uh, I think, as, as long videos as I want, as long as the uh, total file size is under 20 gigabytes, I believe it is. Sorry, uh, the audio is still a little bit loud. It's. I think it's this one song that's just, like, really loud, so uh, I apologize. Um, where am I going to put this? Maybe I can work something down there. Um... Now, uh, I so um I have been working with a uh, with vir virtual dub to try to get the uh, file uh, rendering time and uh, both the, the time and the size it, it turns out to be uh, uh, adequate I suppose uh, at, in this 1440p resolution that I am recording in um, I prefer to record to to render in in, in uh, 1080p just because I can use uh, program that supports Intel Quick Sync, which will allow my processor's uh, integrated graphics uh, card, not a ton of card, but uh, you get the point to uh, assist in rendering the video. Probably sounds so nerdy right now. Um, and for some reason, none of the programs that support this have resolutions above 1920 times 1080, and I, I, I don't understand. It's the 21st century. Come on, get with it. But um, it's, it's, it's kind of out of my control unless I were, were to make my own program, which I don't think I can. I don't think the uh, the Intel SDK that allows you to work with that is open source, so it's probably not going to happen. Um, and even if it was, uh, what development skills do I have really? 
not a whole lot. Um, I do know a thing or two about development. I, I made uh, some Call of Duty hacks before, which I'm not going to talk about right now in this video. Um, I don't know if I'm going to talk about it in any video. I mean, it's not technically illegal. I didn't, didn't do anything against the law, but I guess it's frowned upon, and I don't want to piss Activision off. You know, It's probably not the best idea to do that. Um, so I, 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 I do have some knowledge in, in the coding world. Uh, which was the point. So I, I guess if, if I, I had a source code for this um, quick sync feature, I would be able to work with it, maybe. But I don't, so that is out of my reach entirely. Um, I kind of like this area, but I need some... Is that is that gravel? Yeah. I need some uh, coal so I can light the area up. Uh, ooh, luckily, there is a plot... Plot of coal? Would that be a bundle of coal? I don't know what I would word that as. Uh, right here, though. Okay, that didn't work. Let me make some room. Put that right back. Um, so I, I, don't, I don't know exactly where this series is going to go. It's kind of just a thing. Uh, what, what inspired this was B B B Banana Pie Lord. Uh, probably doesn't. He's not gonna watch this, but uh, he started a, a, a series um, about Animal Crossing, and the, the the idea was to do something relaxing, and I think that idea is is quite good. Um, I di I didn't know what what game I was gonna play. I mean, millions. I don't know, but maybe that's an exaggeration. Maybe that's an under exaggeration. But a lot of people, uh, I'll, I'll say that have made Minecraft Let's Play, so it's it's not 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 really anything new. Um, and I don't plan on doing as a dedicated, you know, the 365 days Banana Pie Lord is in with his Let's Play. But, um, I like the idea of making videos for relaxation, and I think it achieves this for me. Just sitting here uh, talking is, is relaxing. It's therapeutic, kind of. Um, and then when I stop this video and I look at the file size and how much storage it is using on my hard drive and how long it's going to take to render and, and uploading it, that's the part that just stresses me out. But this part is, is relaxing, so it might be might be worth it just for this part alone. Um but I I, I, I do enjoy making videos. Um apart from the the stress of actually rendering the video, uh I don't really have that many ideas as I as I've said in, in previous uh videos and no one really suggests anything for me to do. Um Ideally, I would like to make like some co sort of a co-op uh, video with other people. Um, I, I've I've made videos in the past with other people. It's not, but I, I just I I haven't been playing with anyone uh, recently. Really, uh, I played Saints Row Three with uh, Daniel Chicken on Twitter. I don't know. If, I, I I guess most of the people watching this might be following me on Twitter. I don't know, but Daniel Chicken's a good guy. I didn't record any of the Saints Row Three. Uh, I don't know if I would be able to do that. Uh, it doesn't run the best on my system. Um, which I, I I chalk that down for to being a, a a bad console for it, but it does seem to run decently for some people, so it might just be something with my system specifically. Um, I have a pretty good system. I have a 16 gigabytes of RAM, a DDR3. That's a 1600 megahertz. Uh, megahertz? It's it is megahertz. Isn't it? I'm tired. Maybe that's wrong. I don't think it is. I don't want to sound like an idiot. Um, and I have an Intel Core i7-2600K processor, which uh, up until, what, maybe a month ago? I don't know exactly how long it's been. Up until then, it's been running at 4.5 gigahertz, but it seems to be dying. It requires an unrealistic amount of uh, voltage in order to overclock it to even 4.5 gigahertz. It's like 1.48 uh, uh, volts in order to get it to 4.5 uh, gigahertz, which is utterly ridiculous. Um, so, I just reverted the overclock in general, and, um, after that I switched to UEF high BIOS, because, uh, right now the, the, the motherboard I have, I have a Gigabyte, um, Z68, uh, motherboard, which, um, they don't seem to be supporting very much in terms of UEFI, and UEFI is very important because it increases boot times substantially, uh, and it, it right now the, the it's their UEFI BIOS works. I don't know why I'm up here. I guess I should get more wood. But uh, 
it doesn't support all the overclocking options that you would require in order to get a decent overclock, such as a load line, load level line, load line level, calibration, which uh, I believe that that I'm, I'm not I'm not the most informed person in this aspect uh, in this area, but I believe what that does is it controls how uh, the, the it controls basically just the flow of the um, the power to the CPU. Uh, I don't know exactly how accurate that is, but more or less that will uh, help you. Let me plant this here. If that was there before. Uh, but more or less that will help you with uh, overclocking stability, and um, it, it's going to be really hard to to get a decent overclock without that feature. And I think that's the main feature that's missing. I think a few more are, but that's like the uh, most important one. And they don't seem to be uh, rushing out to um, include this in their BIOS. But uh, because I'm not overclocked right now, I flash their UEFI anyway because I have an SSD and. Uh, I want to get the most out of uh, the boot times that the SSD can provide. Um, so I, I'm running UEFI, UEFI right now, and it's running decently. I'm on the latest beta, so it's not perfect. Uh, it doesn't detect my Logitech G1110 keyboard, so I had to uh, plug in my mother's generic uh, Microsoft keyboard in order to customize the settings. At first, I thought I bricked my motherboard because I was just stuck at this. Uh, you need to load your default settings screen and um, I couldn't press any buttons or move my mouse or anything. It wasn't detecting it at all. <coughs> so um, my friend gave me the idea that I should try a different keyboard and thankfully he did otherwise I would be so screwed. Um, I do have another motherboard with a, an Intel Core i7-950 I which isn't bad by any means but um, it's not exactly the most modern uh, CPU. It's better than what, what Jack32X has, though. I don't know if he's watching this. Um, <laughs> he has like a, a Core 2. I don't know what he... I don't know if he has a Quad Core or Core 2. I don't know. I'm, I'm not completely familiar with the, with the series processor. I'm not going to act like I am. But I, I, I am familiar that what he has is pretty dated. Um, so, I don't know why I'm going on a rant about that. <laughs> um... But it's not. It's it's a it's a decent processor. <coughs> the only reason I upgraded was for overclocking capabilities, and um, ironically, that's not what I received at all. So I might as well have just gotten a twenty six hundred without the K. But I I believe that uses an older in, Intel uh, I, uh, integrated graphics processor, which um I guess would have been a a bad thing for video rendering if I can ever get a program that supports 1440p and quick sync so maybe this is better off for the for the long term anyway I don't know uh, I guess I should just expand this further out I'm not the best at design but I, I guess I can have a roomy area here um I've been playing Minecraft recently uh, on my server, which I've been hosting on a VPS that I also host my website on, which probably isn't that good of an idea. It only has 512 megabytes of RAM, the entire VPS, and I have uh, Minecraft on like 192 megabytes or something like that. And, well, the server itself. And it runs pretty good. I've been playing with me and uh, a couple of people I talked to on IRC. Um, and, uh, I mean, so it's like three people, and it's it's been supporting that well. Uh... But this is what got me into Minecraft basically recently. Uh, I, I took like a long break before that, just because it Minecraft has gotten repetitive. And I'm not saying it's not repetitive now. It kind of is. It's the same old shit, really. But um, I think right now it's it's beneficially uh, repetitive. It helps with the uh, shit. Oh shit, mother beeper, son of a bitch. Not what I wanted to do. Um, <clears throat> that kind of scared me a little bit. Okay, I'm going to wait till morning before I go out there. It's not a good idea. Um, so essentially that got me into this again. I think, I think, I think repetition isn't necessarily a bad thing. I think, uh, it, it, <coughs> see, uh, basically I was thinking of doing, like, um, Hitman videos, cause Hit the new Hitman Absolution, Absolution game, which isn't really new anymore, or, uh, Dishonored videos or something. But the problem with that is... It's not exactly repetitive. Not well, kind of is. If you think about it, any everything's repetitive, isn't it? But um, it's it's not something you can exactly kind of stage. Not 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 that this is staged, but this is like the same basic mechanics that it's hard to mess up with. Uh, with Hitman, there's a whole bunch of 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 
uh, s situations you have to take into account for, and it's hard to get out the the, the perfect video um, that you want to get out. And I think I think uh, the 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 the, <coughs> the biggest problem there is that I make these uh these these videos with with live commentary as opposed to making a sort of <coughs> machinima style video where everything's pre-recorded and I just come out afterwards and uh, do a do a voiceover. Um, I I did I did a couple of those in the past. I, I really don't have a program I'm able to to do that properly. Um, I think you might be able to do that with virtual dub, or you know, you can play around with Audacity. But I used to do it with Sony Vegas, which I don't currently have. I can I can get it, but uh, I don't currently have it. I kind of want it to stay as legit as possible uh, within the boundaries of the law. Which um, I'm not I'm not all I'm not like hard on against. I don't have a hard on against Fire Seer or anything. But uh, I don't know if I if I if I can do it legit, it's probably better off anyway. Um, and virtual dub has a lot more options in terms of, of codecs and whatnot. So I prefer virtual dub. I just wish it supported Intel QuickSync, which I can in no way blame uh, the developers of virtual dub for. That's I blame Intel entirely. Cheap bastards. Uh, speaking of which, I kind of want to switch to AMD. Um, I don't think they're quite at that level yet, but they seem to be catching up to Intel quite uh, quickly. I mean, they're they're what what is it? The 8350. Uh, their their pile driver CPU seems to be matching up with the uh, Intel uh, Core i5, uh, the uh, Ivy Bridge, which is um, a pretty decent achievement. I mean, considering how far behind it, uh, AMD has been in the past, uh, which gives me hope. Um, I think I think really in reality they should be ahead of Intel just because uh, they have more cores, more actual cores. And the fact that they're only on par with uh, on par with Intel's uh, four core processor is um, without hyper threading is a bit of a disappointment. But I think they have uh, extreme potential for the future. Um, so I'm I'm looking forward to that. And I'm not sure what I want to do right now. Uh, maybe I should make some stuff. Uh, so um, I'm, I'm, I'm so the. In case you didn't realize, this isn't going to be like a walkthrough. This is more of me just playing Minecraft and uh, ranting in the background. Um, ranting and raving and carrying on. Uh, tell me. I don't I got that from a song. I don't know what song. It must have been a classic song, wasn't it? I don't know. Don't even judge me on that, what I just said because I don't know what I said. Um, it's probably. I'm probably going to get hammered for that in comments. I don't know. It's, it's probably from a really good song, and I'm just, like, missing it in my head right now. But, um... Oh, shit. Was that a Queen song? No. I don't want to sound stupid, so I'm not going to say anything else. So, um... Let me put these in there. I don't have any use for that. <coughs> Maybe I should eat this. Um... You know, I think I am going to get off for now, though. Uh... Just wanted to make this video as an introduction. I think I carried on a little bit, bit too much. I think the food is about to be done, and I am pretty hungry. Uh, but thank you for watching. Please leave your suggestions uh, and feedback in the comments below. Uh, like and subscribe to the video. Uh, tweet it. You know, do all that shit. Uh, and if you don't already follow me on Twitter, you probably should. That's where I'm most active. Uh, I don't always tweet, but when I do, I tweet things about unicorns. Um, no. Uh, but no, uh, that's where I'm mostly active. I don't always tweet, but I'm always on Twitter. Even if, if, if I'm not tweeting, I'll read it. So if you want to contact me, that's probably your best bet, uh, other than Steam. Um, but uh, other than that, thanks, guys, for watching. And uh, hope I make more videos, and hope you watch them, and hope you like them. Later.